Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Basic Backyard of Commentaries, episode 13, and today we have, uh, just watch. Mike Levy. Boo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll explain why I hate this guy. Basically, he turned up to a deathmatch tournament for IWA Mid-South. I think it was queen of the death match i think and he turned up demanding a match he gets a match he no sold every single move that mickey knuckles did to him and then he didn't sell anything so basically the iwa guys came out and kicked his ass so essentially this guy is a scumbag who claims he deserves more than he does he tried out for wwe they laughed him right out of the building I'm dead serious, and this is, by the way, this is a Taipei deathmatch at BCW. This is in the Deep South, and uh, it was a it was a whole event put on by this guy who's coming up. Oh, focus camera! Jesus Christ! Any of those guys could be in this match. Except it's this guy, Viper. This guy, of course, an IWA Deep South legend. He is four in all the BCW, all the BCW uh, Brink of Death deathmatch tournaments. And also, he started this event. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are unaware, a Taipei deathmatch is basically when there is nothing but broken glass. It was uh, broken glass is the main weapon, basically. You can put it on your fists, you can put it on the ring canvas, you could do anything with it. Just don't eat it. Yeah, I like it. I like how this audience mainly consists of like mainly consists of six year olds apparently. This is a bit um odd. Just saying, you got six year olds watching a death match. Uh okay. Yep, take your sweet time. Take your sweet time. Well, then again, you're allowed to. You're not getting paid for this. He isn't. This is a charity event. He's, uh, as he's getting the, uh, on his fist, he's getting the, he's getting the glass on his fist. He can't, apparently can't get it on. Loser, you need better sticky spray. It's begun. I'm really hoping, like, I haven't seen this match before, ladies and gentlemen, so I'll just say I'm hoping Viper kicks this guy's ass, because even though both these guys aren't really so-called wrestling material, especially Mike Levy there, and these guys don't even have proper gear except for boots. And again, boots don't make the wrestler, and whose kids won't shut up. Again, kids are watching this. And uh, this is the first, I think, the first official Blade I think I've seen in the show. Yeah, nice one, cameraman. By the way, this was not distributed or anything on DVD with Smart Mark Video. This was just an event that some dude decided to film. If he comes across this video, I would like to say I do not owe royalty to anybody. So if anybody badges me for royalty, it's not happening. There's no real audible music in this either, so they can't sue me. Not sure if the audience at home can hear this, but I could definitely hear it, and these kids are annoying. This is probably one of the slowest matches I think we've ever had. He missed. Predictable. Boot. He didn't even hit him. Now Mike Levy copying the exact same spot. This, again, this kid has no originality whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it just looks like two guys going, Hey, what's up, Joe? Hey, nothing. I've just been drinking. But that's what these guys did after the show. One, two, kick out. Well, of course, like it's only been a two minute match so far. These guys can't be gassed already, to be honest. This match so far is nothing but headlocks. And, uh. Again, again there are kids watching this. 
this is why Vince McMahon doesn't hire guys like this. These guys aren't even getting paid for this. Just he's destroying him. Yeah, but this is like the trend I'll see say, ladies and gentlemen. I'll say this right now. Uh sleeveless shirts and basically cargo pants seem to be the fashion in ultraviolent wrestling. You can watch Backyard and, and see it. You can watch India and see it. You can watch CZW and see it. You can watch Japan and see it. Like, it's either jean shorts or cargo shorts, and somehow you become successful. Okay, and uh, Mike Levy is down, predictably. He sucks. Viper actually does have some talent. After all, he did actually train in WCW. I'm told. As he's... He worked the right side. I'll admit, he's working the right side. At, at least he's actually better than Mike Levy. Well, I am shooting on Mike Levy right now. Mike Levy, if you're watching this, you suck. I'll just put it out there and... Oh, Jesus. All the class is on the floor, ladies and gentlemen. As Mike Levy pathetically punches him. And Viper... He loses... He loses his shirt. Here comes the singlet. Yes, he actually has some gear. He has earned my respect. Down on the floor to the glass. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I will say, though, uh, glass matches do hurt. And I'll just say, glass itself... Have you ever... Like, broken a glass and you've added, like, a small, tiny, dicky little cut on you. Like, basically, that's what it's like. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here's a vacuum cleaner. You can see the place he dragged, basically, it all got sucked into his back. And by Clevy, the orca fat ass of IWA Deep South. Good lord. He goes for it. He fails. Fireman carry. It's the only move most people could do. If you can't do a fireman carry, there's something seriously wrong with you. Count of three and probably the most anticlimactic finish ever. Mike Levy down predictably. And all his all his ugly and all of his ugly redneck glory. Viper has won the match all predictably. He booked this show. This is still better fucking than Ric Flair, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Basic Backyard Commentary, episode 13. And this is Mike Levy. Yeah, he's trying to, he doesn't, he fails to intimidate six-year-olds. That's how pathetic this guy is. Okay, peace out.